Coming to you live from the kitchen table, it's Planet Hex. I'm Andrew Horn. Thank you for joining me. This is a really informal episode today. You can probably hear the washing machine in the background, but I'll put some music on for the vod of this. So what am I doing today? I've got a big box of comic books here from under the bed. We're having a big clean out uh, of stuff. And I've got a big box of comic books that I've pulled out of the, uh, the archive. And uh, I'm gonna go through these comics today and I'm gonna see what I'm gonna sell on um, what I'm going to donate to charity to be sold on for the benefit of others because you know I like doing that so there's um there's quite a lot in this box so I love comic books I have my main passion is like the late 80s early 90s and I like a lot of like Marvel and DC sort of things and image yes I was a child of the image era I loved a lot of image comics too so um, there's going to be some of that in there as well so let's uh, let's see what's in this box I hope you can all hear me all right. Please do leave a comment in the in the chat if you can't. Let me just see. I love comic books. I yeah, I can hear books. myself in the background there, so I've got a, an infinite loop going on. Right. So sometimes I, I go through periods where I have a buy pile. Um, where I want to get back into collecting and really enjoying a medium that's been good to me. So I've... Uh, I spent a lot, of, I worked in a comic shop for nine years, please read my book, Backed and Bagged and Boarded, Life on Planet Geek, about that. Um, but they've been in my life as long as I can remember. I mean, my earliest, uh, my earliest entry into comics was things like the Transformers comic, Real Ghostbusters, and so on. Um, moved on to, of course, the Beano was an essential growing up. Moved on to things like 2000 AD and Overkill, God, I miss Overkill. And um, eventually found all the American comics, X-Men, superheroes and that sort of thing, and massively got into those to the point where I ended up working in a comic shop, as I say. So I've got about, I think there's about 300 in this box or so. I'm going to go through. I've got a, a clear box here of stuff I'm going to sell, and I'm going to put aside things I'm going to donate. So let's see what we're going on. As I say, this is a really informal stream, so you will see my kids show up. Joe's come in. Come around here, dude. What's up? What's up? What the heck? So you will, uh, you will no doubt see the kids and the cats on here. Here's Joe. Hi, Joe. Look behind me. You can't see the cat from here, but I've got pumpkin at the side as well. So you will probably see the kids coming in. I've got the washing machine on in the background, so it's a very, very informal stream this time. So I'm going to start going through these. What do you do, buddy? Do you play games? Yeah. Also, can I have some like batteries that? Take the... Some batteries. I need batteries I'll, for the I'll Xbox find you controller. I'll, I'll find you someone I've done this. Sarah! Peace! <laughs> <laughs> I can eat people my cats. There are two controllers. Mm -hmm. Use the other one. I can't. There's no ba I need batteries for oh, that. Well, I will find you some in a bit when I've done this, okay? Hey, yeah. That's I am live right now on the internet. <gasps> so, I'm going to start. I'm going to go through all these comments to see what I'm going to sell and what I'm going to okay. donate. Not all of these are appropriate for young guys. So, uh, is that one appropriate? Uh, no, no, that's uh, <laughs> no, no. Black Harvest isn't appropriate. So, off you pop. Oh yeah, because on the back, <laughs> shows up. I will get you some batteries as soon as I've done this, okay, bud? On the back, I can see nearly all the moves. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Off you pop. Thank you. That was that was Joseph who'd come to join in and so tell us his Jay opinions on independent me. comics. So, so yes, Black Harvest. Uh, from the creator of Dead 17, I don't think I'm going to get anything for that one, so that's going to get donated. I'll put a donate pile on the chair beside me here. Let's get started. Okay, X-Men Prime. Yeah, I, I go through periods of um, having a buy pile and really enjoying getting stuff, but then it just kind of becomes much of a muchness, becomes very expensive. Comics are not cheap these days at all. So this is... Uh, I need to go through them a bit and uh, separate them up. So X-Men Prime, I enjoyed that. X-Men Prime issue one from Marvel, that was all right. Not a massive fan of the series, but I, I did enjoy it for what it was. I think mainly the reason I picked this up is because it had Jubilee in it, and I love Jubilee. There she is. And I don't think Jubilee gets enough love. I think she's a great character. I'm gonna put that in there to sell. Um, as with everything that I do when I put things on eBay, they always go up at 99p, so if you... <laughs> I'll put a link uh, in, the, in the VOD, I'll put a link down below to uh, my eBay page if anyone wants to go and check these out. So I will list some of these over the next few days. Oh, this was a great series. Oh, I've got three, three issues of it. The four issue mini series, The Helm from Dark Horse. 
this was a really fun, fun series with like this uh, stoner becoming uh, in possession of the helm that gives him superpowers. And I've got three issues of the four there. I'll see if I can find the, the missing issue there and get that solved. Okay, I've got um, Mr. Natural by R. Crumb, by Robert Crumb. Yes, I will, uh, this was a reprint. When was this from? It's a kitchen sink, uh, it's a kitchen sink reprint, 1998. I'll put that in the cell part. I read it and I can appreciate what Robert Crumb did. Not my, uh, not my biggest, the biggest fan of that. Uh, we've got David Hunt's Private Beach from Slave Labour Graphics. That could go well, so that'll go in the cell box. Now here I've got I've got loads of copies of Birds of Prey. This is a really really quality title, but I don't think I'm going to fetch anything for it. Uh, I've got a big pile of these. Hey Alex. Oh hey. You're right, dude. We've got Alex in the kitchen now. I told you it was going to be informal today, didn't I? Um, <laughs> got, so I've got loads of Birds of Prey. I really liked it. Uh, it's a great series. We've got Christian Bale Batman on the back doing the Got Milk advert, but we um, I never really. Uh, carried on with it once you know the series ended and it came back as a different series and then there was the the Harley Quinn centric Birds of Prey movie so the Birds of Prey are going to get uh, donated. This era of Wonder Woman where she had the trousers I quite liked it no one else seemed to. Uh, we've got scripts from J. Michael Straczynski of uh, Babylon 5 for him. Alex is giving me a thumbs up uh, doing the script. Thanks mate. <laughs> I will obscure but, um, the camera. It's not something I'm going to uh, get anything for. Same with this this run of Black Widow. Gorgeous artwork. Really, really high quality artwork. Great story. But again, not something that people are going to be really seeking. I can see the washing machine is causing a lot of noise on here. So that will finish soon. I'm sorry about that. See, I told you. I just thought, oh, live stream. I need to go through this box. I need to sort it out. I'm gonna, I might live stream that and see what's going on there. So after this, we've got. There we go. Just making sure everything's working there. Oh dear. Sorry about the uh, the background. We've got issue uh, six oh nine of Captain America. Now this was from a, uh, a Marvel thing where they did the heroic age, and it was all right. Again, something that didn't really grab me. But I will. Um, I think I'll put that into sale for now. We've got Slave Labour Stories from Free Comic Book Days. This is ones from many years ago. Yep, that's actually got the name and address of the comic shop I worked at, uh, which I don't mention because I don't mention it in the uh, in the book, in Bagged and Boarded, Life of Planet Geek. I don't mention it in there, so I had to cover that up. I think I'll put that in the sale pile. Uh, we've got... Um, oh, this is a shame. This is First Strike, the IDW series, First Strike. A, that's a very loud washing machine, Andrew. Um, which crossed over Transformers and um, G.I. Joe. So it was really cool. It was, um, I think it was just Transformers and G.I. Joe. A Hasbro comic book event, what was it? Oh no, it crossed over G.I. Joe, Mask, Rom, Micronauts and Transformers. See, that is amazing. That is amazing. And there's a little bit of wear on the back cover though. There's a bit of damage to the back cover. So I'm going to put that on the donate pile. We've got Shadow the She-Devil with um, glorious art from Frank Cho. Loved this series. I'll have to get the price sticker off. Why did comic shops put price stickers on the comics themselves? That's not what we want. We want them clean. Have a price list underneath your shelves. Don't put them on actual paper. It's a really bad idea. So I'll have to get that off there. Um, I've got DC Bombshells issue 14. Issue, DC Bombshells issue 14. Um, that's going to go in the cell because someone will like that. Um, Power Girl, I'll go in the donate. We've got First Vengeance, a um, issue one of four from Captain America. It's a prequel to the First Avenger movie. That's going to go in the cell. Don't think I'll get anything for that again, but you know someone may want it for 99p. We've got all new Wolverine where um, X23 replaces Wolverine. That's issue six. That's in good condition. I need to get some more comic book uh, comic book bags. See, the thing is, with comic book bags, because I, I sell a lot of stuff on eBay, comic book bags are really, really handy for wrapping things like books, CDs, DVDs, T-shirts in. So if you buy stuff from me from uh, from eBay, you'll, you'll usually arrive in a comic bag, sealed in there, and then packed up. Uh, okay, we've got Phonogram, the Immaterial Girl. Kieran Gillen's Phonogram series was brilliant. 
about like a magic system based around music. It was glorious. What a series. That's going to go in the sale pile. As is uh, Dr. Sleepless with uh, Warren Ellis. It's very weird, very dark. Not This is not a comic I would want to let um, get into the hands of kids. So this is going to go. This is going to get sold to a collector. I'm not going to put that in to donate. We've got issue one of Dead. She said, featuring artwork by Bernie Wrightson. I think it was Steve Niles that wrote this. Um, yeah, pretty much Steve Niles. Pencils and inks by Bernie Wrightson, the legendary movie artist and uh, fantasy artist. Excellent stuff. Issue eight of eight of Secret Invasion. Hmm, I may have to look at that one. I've got a bit of a bend on the corner there, so I may have to look that up and see if that's going for anything. Um, you never know. You never know. I got um, Michael Turner's Fathom. I think this is one of the later ones that... Uh, November 2005, so I think this was done after Mr. Turner passed away. I know the story by JT Krull and Michael Turner, so is there. I can't remember when that gentleman passed away. I do apologise. So, thankfully, the washing machine's finished now. We've got X Men 423 when uh, briefly comics were 25 cents again. Not a brilliant run though. Um, well, I think it's I think it's because I'd really had my X Men period in the early 90s with the you know the huge the huge issues in the early 90s and the things like the Chris Cla Chris Claremont run, moving into the Jim Lee stuff. Um, that was my era. So I'm not going to keep hold of that one. That's going to donate. As is this. Uh, Tomb Raider. I've got a Tomb Raider comic here. I don't remember buying this. It's many years ago. What I may do with this, I may bunch together some video game comics and put those together as a lot. So I'll keep that one in there. We've got a, uh, a Witch Blade, which will go, that will go in the cell pile. Mystique, I'll donate. I've got several issues of Motor Girl. Um, Terry Moore did. Terry Moore, the Strangers in Paradise dude. So I've got Three of those. I think I've got some more in here somewhere. So those will be a nice uh, batch for someone. Uh, we've got Green Hornet issue one of the Dynamite Comics series of Green Hornet. Um, Green Hornet and Kato there. That's going to go in the sale. Okay, I've got New Avengers. I've got a Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, what else have we got here? <coughs> I've got a, a British Batman Guardians of the Night compilation. Uh, what else have we got? A recent Batman Beyond. Another Birds of Prey. I'm going to hit a, a little pile of Birds of Prey. Black Alice. Gonna take another Birds of Prey. Uh, let's get through some of these. And another Birds of Prey. <laughs> and a Power Girl. Oh, Spidey 2099, the reboot issue one. Um, another Birds of Prey. That is such a great cover with Huntress on it. That cover art is awesome. Love it. So those are all going to go in the donate pile. <coughs> Spidey 2099. I still have issue one of original Spidey 2099 somewhere, which I will keep hold of. I'm going to keep hold of that. Uh, another Motor Girl. This was a really good series. A post-apocalyptic series of a uh, about a, uh, a lady, a lady mechanic fixing stuff, and she has a um, gorilla, giant gorilla as a mate. Why not? X Men 92. I enjoyed this. It was a nice uh, revisit of uh, that era of X-Men. It's, it's got a fold in the cover, so that is going on donate. Plus, I don't want to sell um, things to collectors if they're not in the, the ideal condition. House of Mystery, um, 2008. I may put that aside and look that one up. That may have some, uh, some interest from, someone may want to pick that one up. House of Mystery was good. I went through a phase of trying of trying loads of different titles and um, seeing what stuck and unfortunately not many of them did. So what have we got here in this batch before I get in the next pile out? More of those, more of those. Okay, so I've got a all new Wonder Woman, another one. I enjoyed it. I know lots of people didn't. Lots more birds of prey, so they can go and donate. Not sure where I'd, where I'd donate them to. I may take them down to Cancer Research. Cancer Research is a charity that I, I support a lot. Uncanny X-Force, that will go in there. Uh, donate as well. We've got Big Time Spider Girl. I liked this run. This was a good series. Once four of this was, was decent. And uh, there may be some interest in that for someone. So that's going to go in the cell car. 
uh, Infinite Crisis number one. That's going to go in the cell pile, of course. Oh, these were fun. Oh, this one was crazy. Yeah. Last time I talked about comics on my channel, I, uh, on my YouTube channel anyway, I mentioned, I believe, a weird comic called Reagan's Raiders. And I have one. I have this issue. Well, it was superheroes who all look like US presidents. It was insane. Oh, there's some cool wrestling adverts on the back as well. I love rest I love adverts from old, uh, old comic books. So, yeah, you see here this, <laughs> it's black and white comic book, but it's, su it's such a strange one that it's the one I've always kept hold of. It's Reagan, old Reagan. Look at this advert here. Now you can own live man-eating piranhas. Perfect. How could you resist? Yeah, all the and yeah, they end up in superhero costumes. So you get the the sight of U.S. presidents going kicking butt as superheroes. Why not? Why not? That's going to go in the cell because it's so weird. Justice League 3001, future version of Justice League. I enjoyed that, but that's again going to go in the cell pile. Uh, okay, A Force. That was good. Legendary Star-Lord, another all-new Wonder Woman. Those will go in Donate. Enjoyed all these comics, but not all of them have any resale value. I'm not really after a load of value for them. It's something I enjoyed, and then they're going to get donated or sold on so someone else can enjoy them. Motor Crush, I'll look up if anyone's interested in that. That was a superb series. That was a great series. A, uh, like a futuristic... Um, biker sort of series really really good series I really enjoyed that one <coughs> okay now we've moved into the all new Captain America not really any call for that um, issue 2 or 4 I've got the rest of the series list somewhere the New York 5 um, back in the early 2000s it was the early 2000s DC did a, a range called uh, I think it was Minx? Was it Minx? Am I thinking of something else? But it was um, a series of graphic novels that were aimed at female readers, and that was awesome. Because it, it offered some really different stories and some very stuff that you've not seen in, in many comics, uh, and different take on things. And one of them was called The New York Four. This was the sequel, New York Five. Nice title. But if you ever come across a copy of New York Four, it's a very um, emotionally, psychologically complex dra um, drama. I really enjoyed it. Um, what else have we got? Joe the Barbarian, issue one, that'll go in cell because that was written by Grant Morrison, so there's always a call for that. Um, I really liked a call called uh, Giant Days. I really liked a comic called Giant Days. Uh, and I, I sold my, my collection of Giant Days on eBay a while ago, but the, the guy that did it, John Allison, uh, also did this one called Bobbins. So this is quite rare. It's got some residue from a price sticker on where, again, a comic shop has put a price sticker on it on the back of it, that's helpful. However, this one is signed by John Allison up there. And it's an interesting one. It's what he did before Giant Days. And it was like, if I remember rightly, it was like a pilot episode for a comic um, that didn't really uh, take off. But it was really good. It's a good read. So that's gonna go in the cell pile. Right, another motor crush. Let's get some uh, Get some speed going. So we've got a new Avengers. No, nope. Uncanny X Men 391. Not one I want to keep hold of. Uh, some more later X Men. Uh, over here we've got one of the uh, 75th anniversary uh, comics of Captain America, which I would put on the uh, on the sale pile. However, the cover is damaged. I can't really see it there, but there is some damage to the cover, so I'm not going to keep that one. Another Birds of Prey. Uh, we've got issue three of Skyborn. Uh, I may put a batch of those together. I've got some Sky, more Skyborn somewhere. Oh my god, yes, this was beautiful. But it's not one, not one I really want to keep hold of. This is Echo by Terry Moore, again who did um, Strangers, uh, Strangers in Paradise. This is a beautiful science fiction comic. It has a very unique atmosphere to it, and I absolutely loved that. That was beautiful. Black and white artwork, but it's all artwork by Terry Moore and he's such a talented artist, it's unreal. Let's find you a good example of uh, some of his spectacular artwork. I love, something I always loved about Terry Moore, uh, when he did Strangers in Paradise, which I really enjoyed, 
um, I think most people enjoyed Strangers in Paradise that read it, uh, was his skill for facial expressions. He has a real gift for expressions. Here's a good example. And you can really see what's going through these characters' minds. I love it. So Echo will go in that pile. Right, let's get another batch up here. Come on, Andrew. There's another batch here. We've got X-Men. No, that's going in the donate. We've got a Witch Blade. That's going in sell. Power Girl, that's going in donate. A Witch Blade, that's going in sell. I can do a Witch Blade batch. I've got two more Birds of Prey. Those are going to get donated. Um, oh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 Prelude here, which was, which was, it was really good. It was really well written. But, but the uh, the main thing I love about this was the art of Christopher Allen, who um, is a really excellent artist. I wish I'd not. I wish that wasn't damaged. It's all bent up at the back, so that'll get donated. But uh, we've got some more Birds of Prey. Hey, Joe. So up again. Who's there? Black Canary. Black Canary, yes. Who? So, that's Neo. So yeah, two like more issues of Birds of Prey. Those are going on there. Uh, oh, but Neo, which is an acclaimed comics one, Oops. sort of uh, video gamey. Yes, I've got the cats beside me. Um, <laughs> and I like the artwork in it. The script is dreadful, but it's got really cool artwork. I'll put that up there just in case. Got another motor girl. No, 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 Terry no, no, Moore. no, 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 no. <laughs> Dude, I don't need a theme tune. <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, I've got. Infinite Loop, this was a really good series, a time travel story uh, from IDW, Captain that's Britain. issue one. Have you spotted Captain Britain? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Captain Britain, that's before. He's a character in Lego Marvel Superheroes. He is in Lego Marvel Superheroes. In order to get Psylocke. Oh yes, you had to do a race, didn't you? Yes, yeah, you the to race Got The Wake by Snyder and Murphy. Couldn't really get into that, but uh, there you go. More Birds of Prey. God, I bought a lot of Birds of Prey. Yeah, you did. I did. Yeah. Who's that? That's Professor X with the original X-Men in the in tubes. Evil. Looks like he's being evil. We've got a oh this was an indie comic I picked up at MCON here in Nottingham. It's a Reckless Hero comic called Last Sheriff. And that was that was good quality. That was good quality. I do kind of like the early 2000s art style in that. Uh, I'll pop that in there just in case. Look at the power girl. The optic nerve, which was that was alright. It was alright, just a straightforward drama comic. Wonder Woman! Wonder Woman! Yes, some all new Wonder Woman, that's getting donated. Shira? Uh, we've got the 10th, that's going in the sale pile. Don't you try and read that, Joe. Let me. No, that's not appropriate. Is there need? I have to be careful what my kids see, because there are a lot of horror movies and things that they shouldn't see in the house. And little hands keep trying to get hold of them. Yeah, Alex saw Goosebumps, he enjoyed that. That's a British uh, Spider-Man compilation that's going to get donated. American Splendor. I was a big fan of American Splendor, but it just, um, I moved on. So that's going to get donated as well. Arcade, Another arcade Legends loop. rule. Yes, you like arcade, uh, arcade Especially Legends, don't you? Jinx. We love Jinx, yes. We've Jinx. both got the same action figure. Yeah, but Are you I... enjoying yourself on my stream? Yeah, but I lost the rocket kit launcher. But I'm I sure you can have... find the rocket launcher. I only have Pow Pow and the actual figure. So we've got an, a JLA there. It's a later one. It's not uh, not something that people are going to want to get hold of. So that's going to get donated as well. I wonder if you've got any Persona 5 in there. Uh, no, I don't have any Persona 5, mate. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Oh, there's a good one. Fantastic Four. Oh, yes. Sue Richards. Yes. You like Sue Richards, don't oh. you, mate? So we've She's got... She's always powerful. Richards. Issue 500 of X-Men, of Uncanny X-Men. This is issue 500, so that one is bagged and boarded still. I've got to keep that one nice. That's going in the sale box because that's okay. that's a really good issue. That's my collection. Right. Hey. Yeah, I'm talking about comics on this one, buddy. Yeah, this is out about a comic. Remember, Tales of the Teen Titans. Okay, come and tell them about your favourite comic, Tales of the Teen Titans. Then. Yeah, so I, if you let, if you, any kids are watching this, this is kid friendly. Have you watched Teen Titans Go? Have you seen the girl with the pink hair? I have. I have Tales of the Teen Titans okay. issue 56. Yeah. Have, have you ever heard of Jinx from Teen Titans Go? If you haven't, I have all her appear. I have Tales of the Teen Titans issue 56, 7, 8. And, and what else about Jinx? 
to do with you. And I met real life Jinx! Yes, do you? The actress. So it's uh, Lisa and yes. Balabanar. Yes, she's going to play Jinx in the in She Titans already has before. played Jinx. So if people that have seen yes. Titans on HBO, HBO Max Series 4, you'll have seen Jinx. And I'm we met fan. her in Panto <laughs> and she was awesome, wasn't she? Yeah, right. I'm a long time fan of Jinx. Very long time. Right, back to your cave. Bye. <laughs> Can I quickly get some batteries? Fantastic Four. I'll find some for you, but there aren't any in that cupboard. Have to wait a bit. Bye everyone, I'll be back. Bye, um, Transformers on EW and this Fantastic Four are going on the uh, donate pile. Silk liked it, no value though. That's going to get donated. I hope someone else will enjoy it. Another Skyborn. I'm doing okay. I've got uh, I've got this many to donate to to sell on at the moment, so it's going okay so far. I've uh, got another Black Widow, and a Black Widow, and a Black Widow, and X Factor, another Birds of Prey, another All New Wonder Woman, a Huntress and Power Girl crossover, uh, the Spider Woman, that was a good series, um, Starfire issue 1, Captain America Heroic Age, All New Wonder Woman, uh, a Justice League, Wonder Woman, Hawkeye Mockingbird, um, Captain Marvel and the Carol Corps. These were all really good comics. They were a really good show, a really good series. Enjoyed all of these, but not something I'm really, really get any, any cash for. Not something I'm gonna really hold on to. And so I'm holding on to a lot of my really early ones. I must, I'll take you through some of those at some point. I need to bag them up and make sure they're all good. So I've got another issue of Echo. More Black Widow. Oh, an Oracle one shot. That was really good. Of course, Oracle was uh, Batgirl, it's Barbara Gordon. Uh, that is one I am going to put in the in the sale box. Um, this was good. This was this was recommended to me at uh, page forty-five here in Nottingham, um, and I ended up uh, picking this up. This was expecting to fly. Uh, this was a two-issue mini-series from Scary Go Around Comics from John Allison that did Giant Days. Uh, I'm going to put that on. Uh, on the sale pile. It's like a, a coming of age comedy comic and it was great. It's 90s Spider, what was that, 90s? Lost track, when was that? 2000, July 2000, Spider Woman, that's gonna get donated. Birds of Prey, uh, Supergirl, Hawkeye, Mockingbird, all great comics, but uh, not really gonna, uh, they're just taking its base at the moment. I'm not really enjoying them as much as I would. Got Tomb Raider where Lara's not got much on. It's gonna go in the sale, that'll go in a batch. JLA versus Cyberforce. JLA Cyberforce. That was a weird mixture of uh, Justice League and Cyberforce. Of like, you know, established legends and Cyberforce. I like Cyberforce. Uh, it's very 90s though. But, uh, someone may enjoy that one, so that's gonna go in the sale. Secret Wars issue four, Captain Britain. Uh, big time amazing Spidey. These are all these are these are good, but they are all a bit crumpled, just from life and moving around and so on. So those will get donated. Another optic nerve that might get picked up. JLA can get donated, and we've got a another Snyder and Murphy Wake. Get um, that go in the sale box. I can do a batch. Let's get a big pile here. So. You're not just seeing me produce them like a magician with paper rabbits. That's a weird thing to say, Andrew. Okay, this. <laughs> so, oh God, this is the rest of the pile. So let's get it going. We've got the Magdalena. That's going in the sale. We've got the Guild. Oh yes, the Guild. Felicia Day's legendary web series that became something of an online sensation. So I've got uh, three issues there of the, the Guild series. I've got the Guild Vork special. I love the Guild. That's exactly my sort of um, style of comedy. I really enjoy that sort of that sort of comedy, and also it's um, it's very geeky, and we love a bit of the old geekery, don't we? Uh, New Warriors issue one. It's an issue one, so I may sell that. But issue one of Rachel Rising, Terry Moore's horror series. That was cool. 
that was really cool. I didn't stick with it just through lack of money and things tend to, I, I tend to lose interest in some things, but that was really good. Rogue Trooper issue one, that will go in there. What else have we got? Let's get down this pile. So we've got Justice League 3000%, Green Lantern and The Flash. This was a format I really liked. Now the comic wasn't that well regarded. Um, Justice League 3000, so it's future versions of the Justice League. So we've got a futuristic Green Lantern and a, a futuristic Flash. And um, I liked the format of having two stories in an issue. It was a really nice format. Um, so I'm sure someone will enjoy that when I donate that. But JSA All Stars, X Men Unlimited, um, issue one of the Veil, that's going to go in for sale. More birds of prey. God, I got a lot of birds of prey. This is an interesting one. I found this in a um, in a uh, like a bargain bin, and it's uh, actually I think I found it in a in a charity shop in a, a shopping centre once. This is fire. And it's very early work by Brian Michael Bendis. He did the art and the script for it. And I really enjoyed it. There's a nice weird thriller so that's gonna go in the sale. We've got more issues of Motocrush. The, the motorbike one I mentioned earlier. This is so good. This is so good. But it's not one I've wanted to revisit, but I uh, really, really enjoy and appreciate that. So that's gonna go in the sale pile. Um, Kirby Genesis. So this is um, a dynamite one. Uh, written by Kurt Busiek and um, art direction layouts by Alex Ross, art by Jack Herbert and Alex Ross. So there's some sections of this, <coughs> some sections of this that are in like um, line art style, and then there are some sections of it that are painted. Look at Alex Ross's work is just stunning. He's incredible. I'll put that in the sale just in case. The new Avengers one that will uh, go in the sale one. It's going to take me ages to list all these. Bulleteer one that's folded at the back, so I can't keep that. It's a shame that was a good series. Some of the, some of these have just um, I did have the other issues to them that they just kind of fell by the wayside throughout life. Okay, Starfire, Silk. How's it going on? Donate. Issue one of the Traveller, the Stan Lee title that he did for Boom Studios, even where he invented the character. I'm going to donate. I'll put that in sale. You know, it's got Stan's name on it, so I may get uh, 99p for it. And surprise, surprise, more Birds of Prey. I really enjoyed it. I, I enjoy ensemble comics, where there's, a, where there's a team and there's a good team dynamic. So I was a big fan of Birds of Prey. Uh, Demo was a great series. Great series. Huntress and Power Girl, Legendary Star Lord, All New Wonder Woman, and then the Birds of Prey. Those are all going in donate. There's going to be a good day for donating stuff. Spider Woman and Power Girl donates. Avengers, Dread Uprising. I love this. That was issue two of two. I forgot the first one somewhere. This was a comic sequel to the Carl Urban starring Dread movie, and that was quality. Loved it. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, a, a Warhammer board. I don't know what that's doing in there. So that's going to get donated. Guardians of the Galaxy, Starfire, um, DC Universe Online Legends issue one. Nice wraparound artwork there. Like the wraparound artwork style. That's cool. Um, yeah, I'll put that in the sale. Someone might like that. We've got X23. Great comic, that's going to the sale pile. More Echo. Right, oh dear, right. I know I've got another issue with this somewhere. What we've got here, uh, was it issue seven of Wildsiders? Or was that issue one? Was that, was that, that weird style? Yeah, Wildsiders, with a Z of course. So there's uh, J. Scott Campbell doing something very anime themed. And um, it was fun, but wasn't my thing, so someone may enjoy that. Okay, with Captain Britain. There's Marvel with the iconic cover. That's going to go in sale. Uh, Spider Girl, another Spider Girl. A Silk. Oh, an issue of Giant Days. Yeah. There's an issue of Giant Days here. It's a bit crusty, that one. So these are going to get. Uh, 
I think the girl who fell to work, and that's an earlier one, I'm going to put that on the, in the sale pile, but these are going to get donated. Uh, I'll put Giant Days in there for sale. I stuck with that for like 30 issues or so, and just, I think I'd had my fill of the characters. Nothing against the title, but I just think I'd had my fill of it. Uh, we've got a Harley Quinn, uh, that's a very battered Harley Quinn, so I'm going to get rid of that. Another early Spidey 2099. Another, oh, there we go. Issue one of New York Five. Oh, so many comics. And this this is terrifying because I've gone through hundreds of these so far. I don't know if I can... I can't really grab the, uh, the pile of donate ones. It's a bit heavy. Um, and I've gone through so many of these. Let me get them on the table, actually, so we can see the pile stack up of what I'm going to donate. Now sometimes it's difficult for me to donate things because I have collected so many different things over the years that collecting and uh, donating things can be... It can be difficult to let go of stuff that you've enjoyed. But there comes a point where you realise that these aren't things that I've revisited. I've not gone through these again. I've gone through some of my 90s ones. I really, still really appreciate all my early ones that are in the archive. But some of these I just haven't gone through since <coughs> since purchasing them and they're just taking up space right okay so this is the donate pile I've got a big box suit put on eBay here we've got issue zero of punk mambo that was fun uh, what conditions that in that's okay that can go in the sale pile Night and Squire issue one I enjoyed that like a British retelling of Batman and Robin that's uh, notoriously big at the time when this came out. We've got issue one of Transformers Armada. I had a few of these, uh, a few copies of this over the years, and that was a that was a good series. A fold-out cover on it. Love a fold-out cover. But it had really, for the time, groundbreaking artwork style. Really, really good stuff. Again, influenced greatly by anime. Harley Quinn, 26, that'll go, that's in good condition, so that'll go to sell. Supergirl, Silk, Captain Marvel, Spider-Woman, there's lots of these, Black Widow. All these are going to go on the donate pile. I'm enjoying this. Thank you for coming to hang out, by the way, I'm really enjoying this. Got uh, A-Force, I enjoyed A-Force. I don't think it's going to get me anywhere, though. Uh, later Birds of Prey. With what pissed me Daredevil on the front of it. That's not Daredevil, it's a DC comic. Or Black Widow. Empress, issue one. Um, Mark Miller and Stuart Immerman. Yeah, Stuart, Stuart Immerman. Yeah, I can't speak. Immanent. On artwork. That was a good one. That was a good sci fi one, so that's going to go in there. Tomb Raider. That's going to go and get uh, in the Tomb Raider batch. The Darkness 24. How are you doing, Dad? I'm doing very well, thank you, Joe. I have Joe here again. <laughs> I love being here. <laughs> This is awesome being... Hi world! Hi world! <laughs> More Spidey 2099 now. There's some scuffs on the cover there, so that's going to get donated. Spider Woman, one with a rude thing on the front that you shouldn't see. That's going to go in there. Captain Marvel! That's Spider Woman. There's a Captain, yeah, Captain Marvel issue one. Do you want to hang out and read it? Uh, or this Batgirl? I'm fine. I just want to look and see what good <laughs> stuff you got. Oh, who's she? Well, I'm, uh, I'm back. Sorry about that. The shopping arrived. It needs to be brought in um, before the, the kids made weapons out of it. So let's continue. More Harley. That's going to go in the sale pile. Scarlet. This was a, a Bendis comic. Um, I know Brian Michael Bendis was all the rage for a long, 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 long time. And uh, I'm hugely jealous of that. What with being a uh, ball comic book writer myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. All more power to him. We've got some Uncanny X-Men, some more Birds of Prey and Black Widow. Um, DC Universe, Last Will and Testament, I don't even remember that. Bits, bits of damage on the cover, that's a shame, I should get rid of that. But oh, on the back of it we've got Soul Calibur 4. That's cool. Awesome. We've got iZombie, issue one of iZombie where they did a like a pilot season, a Vertigo did a pilot season of stuff where everything was a dollar. That was a good one. And that, of course, became a really popular series and had a TV series of it made. 
at the lead of which I think she is in now the in the American version of Ghosts, which I'm not talking about. Uh, more copies of Infinite Loop. Those will go in the sale box. Yeah, it's about learning to let go of stuff that you don't really need anymore. You don't if you don't revisit it. There's no point in keeping hold of stuff. Yeah, X Men, Silk, some more Black Widow. Is that Black Widow? That's not Black Widow. That's 2000 AD comic. That's going to get donated. Superwoman. I like the Superwoman costume with the red and white. I think it looks really good. Um, I'm not going to keep that. Spider Girl. Some more new warriors. Another big time Spider Girl. Uh, another later Uncanny X Men. Although. This was such a good idea in these. Let me see if the if the, uh, the little sticker is still in here. Make you get a digital version of the comic. There was a really good incentive for a while. I don't know if Marvel still do it. I hope they do. Um, where somewhere in the middle of the comic there was a page with... There we go. There was a page here with uh, a little sticker that you could peel off and it had a, a redemption code so you could add a digital version of the comic to a digital library. So I don't know if there's still any use to anyone, but if you find one of those and it's got a little sticker in it, peel it off, you can get a free digital copy. Uh, got Batman issue zero, that was a good title, nice art style to it, so that's gonna go in the box. Uh, the, t the Tink um, Guild one shot, more Felicia Day goodness, I think she wrote that. Uh, Huntress of Power Girl. Okay, do you have some Chaos Comics of Purgatory and Chastity there? So that's going to get sold. I may do a bunch of. Uh, if I've got any more Chaos ones, I'll put those together in a batch. Huntress and Power Girl. Um, but A Force issue one from 2016. I may pop that in the um, in the sale box because issue ones tend to sell well. Huntress and Power Girl. Spider Gwen. Love the artwork on these. That is a great image of Spider Gwen there, or Ghost Spider, as well. I've known. That's going to go. They're going on the donate pile. So the donate pile is looking very healthy. I'm pleased about that. Um, Batman. The problem with Batman comics is there are so many of them, various spin-off series and all kinds of stuff going on that there's just too much of it. There's too much. Azrael on the front of that one. Cool. Um, the Radioactive Spider Gwen issue six. Someone will enjoy that. On the Wolverine issue one of the uh, the more recent version of American Splendor that became a big thing after the movie came out about Harvey P. Carr with uh, Paul Giamatti as part as Paul as Harvey even um, I put some of those in there I put the issue one there anyway the others will get donated they were good they were good I enjoyed them but they're not something I want to keep hold of oh I've got two copies of that one I have two copies of one issue not sure why. Um, we've got She-Hulk issue one. Let's see what condition that's in. That's not looking bad. Yeah, a lot of these aren't by double border. Loads of my other comics in the upstairs in the archive are, but these these aren't. I'm going to put that in the sale box. I may like that, especially with the the recent TV series. I know it wasn't to everyone's taste, but I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it. Uh, more Witchblade. That'll go in a Witchblade batch. Marvel, get donated. Portal Bound. I, I, I should have followed up on this one. I really liked this. This was a um, an Aspen Comics one, so Michael Turner's company that does uh, Fathom and things like that. This was a really good series. It had really good artwork. It had a fun sort of premise, and um, yeah, I'm. I'm sad I didn't follow it up, so I may see if there's a, a collected edition of that. I'm going to pop that in the sale pile. Um, more Captain Marvel, more Echo. More Terry, more Echo. Let's see if I can find another example of his, his artwork in here that's just some of those facial expressions. I like this uh, shocked image here of uh, the lady with the gun. The facial expression is really cool. Ah, never do this right with the camera. Very cool. Really good artwork, really good scripts, very engaging. Uh, I would say though, with Echo, I, I would say that pays for reading as a, a graphic novel, as a trade paperback, and that would be really good to revisit that one. What else? More Black Widow. 
Let's get the donated Skyborn. That's going in the sales of Batch, Infinite Loop, Infinite Loop. Those will go in the in the sale box. I'll, do, I'll batch those up together. But some series you can you can do is like one issue, but some of them I'm just going to do a batch. And it's still start at 99p because everything does on my page. Um, but Vampirotica, Divide and Conga. Divide and Conga. That'd be amazing. Da -da 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 -da, vampires. Um, so that's that's 18 and over. That's not getting donated because it's just not safe for, ooh, safe for it to do so. That's going in the sale box with along with more Echo. Oh, here's something cool. I loved this. Was so nice. I loved this when I was a kid. This is the Marvel official adaptation of RoboCop. Uh, so, of course, minus the swearing and the gore, um, I know that's sort of intrinsic to the plot of, uh, of the movie, but I loved that. Uh, it was originally published in uh, individual comics, and this was, was this the English one? No, this was a collector edition of it from about 1990. Really cool, really good. I'm going to put that in the sale pack, Something someone may enjoy that. Um, it's Harley. I'm not sure what to do with Harley because that's in really good condition. It's issue 18. I'll, I'll look that one up. See if anyone wants that one. I'll go in the sale pile for now. Legendary Star Lord, Uncanny X Men. Um, those go and donate. Years of Future Past. The Key Pride on the front there, issue one. I didn't follow up on that. I didn't. It didn't really grab me. It was. It was all right. It didn't really grab me though. I'm gonna put that in the sale pile. I'm not sure. <coughs> Rocket Girl, I don't know. DC Special, The Return of Don, Donna Troy. Meh. I'll donate that. Um, got some more issues of Motor Girl. We're nearly at the end. There's about 10 comics left. Yeah, three more issues of Motor Girl. I'll do all the Motor Girl ones together in a batch. And uh, Spider Man 2099, issue 12. Harley Quinn and Power Girl. Oh, that's going to get donated. Harley Quinn and Power Girl, issue 1. This was fun. I think, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this was the, the series that uh, takes place between two panels. So in the, uh, I think it's, it's in a Harley Quinn comic and this entire series took place between two panels in that. Still going there. Okay, making sure my audio was still all right there on the stream. So this this was fun. This was a, a fun series. So I'm going to pop that in the sale pile. Uncanny X Men versus X23. Pop that in to donate. Black Widow. Okay, we've got the last few here. Let's see. We've got Black Widow, Justice League of America, Bloodstrike. That's the oh I'll sell that because that's got a massive penis in the end of it. <laughs> I'm not going to sell it because it's got a penis in it. I'm going to sell it because it's quite adult themed. And A Force and A Force. So these are going in. Um, oh, what's that? I can do the first three issues together because I put the first issue of that in there. So that would be good. These will go in the sale pile as well with that other copy of A Force. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. This big box. There we go. Those three together. So in the end of it, we've got this box. This box of stuff I'm going to sell. Quite a lot of them, but we've got this pile, this monstrous pile here, which I'm going to donate. Oh god! So that I hope that a charity shop will be able to sell these on and get some get some cash back for them, even if it's in like ten p a pop. I'd rather it go to charity than just going to uh, get thrown away or uh, you know anything like that. So. I'm going to go and donate those. So this has been a very, very informal stream today. Uh, and this, the VOD of this will be uh, compiled, the two parts of it will be compiled into this week's full length uh, episode of Planet Hex. I've got a big episode of Planet Hex I'm working on in the background, which uh, um, I um, haven't finished yet, so it won't be ready for this weekend. But uh, yes, throughout the week, you can find me on my Planet Hex channel on YouTube, 
where I put out two reviews a week. Um, I put out three this week actually, uh, many episodes in the week, about five minutes, six minutes each where I talk about something I've discovered, rediscovered or revisited uh, and you can see a full length Planet Hex at the weekend which this will form this week. So if you've been watching the, the two halves of this stream you've already seen this week's Planet Hex. Apart from the titles, you know, just tune in for the titles, give me some, give me some views, that would be nice, I'd appreciate that. So I am Andrew Horn, thank you very much for joining me for this live streamed, very informal Planet Hex with Joe in the background and Alex and the shopping arriving and the cats in the background and the washing machine going on and the dryer. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for joining me for this episode of Planet Hex. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and validate my existence.